Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley, and today I am going to be showing you how you can do black bars in Unity for your camera view. So we're not going to be covering a UI canvas, this is going to be for the camera view of your game. So, I've got a game here. In 1080p, it looks amazing. In 720p, it looks amazing. But what if we go for a different aspect ratio? Oh no, some of the quagsires are gone. We don't want that. Instead, we want to have black bars and preserve the aspect ratio of the game. So, let's get into how we can do that. All we're going to need to do is to make one script. So, I'm going to be creating a script called Aspect Ratio Utility. You can right click, click on Create, and then C Sharp Script to, to create your C Sharp Script. Once you've made it, open it up. Make sure you've got Using Unity Engine, Using System.Collections Generic, and Systems.Collections. Inside the class, we're going to be creating a function. We're going to do public void adjust, and this is going to be adjusting the rect viewport of the camera to preserve our aspect ratio. And how it's going to basically work is, we're going to find the maximum display size inside the resolution of the screen that matches our desired aspect ratio. So let's say we've got a screen size that's slightly bigger than 720p. We'll probably end up with a 720p display with a black bar on the top and the bottom. That's the kind of thing we're going for here. So what we do is we do target aspect and then we do 16 divided by 9 because that's our target aspect ratio. If you want to do 16 by 10, you do 16 divided by 10. If you want to do 4 by 3, you do 4 divided by 3. Then we're going to get the aspect ratio of the current screen. So we can do float screen dot width divided by float screen dot height. After we do that, we can then do float scale height equals window aspect divided by target aspect. And this line calculates the scale height. If the current aspect ratio is different from the target, this value will be used to adjust the camera's viewport. And we'll see how we'll be using this value in a moment. And then we're just going to do camera camera equals get component camera to get a reference to our camera. You could have a serialized field if you want to, but I'm going to do it this way. So we could just drag and drop the script onto our camera. So we're going to do an if statement and we're going to have some code in it. This if statement is met when the player screen is taller in aspect ratio than the target 16 by 9 aspect ratio or whatever your target aspect is. And then the following steps in here adjust the camera's viewport to maintain the 16 by 9 aspect ratio on the taller screen. And so we do rect rect equals camera dot rect we're going to be basically creating a new rect structure and initialize it with the current viewport rectangle of the camera. Then we do rect.width equals 1f and this is going to set the viewport to 1 which corresponds to the full width of the screen. This is because we need to use the entire width to maintain the aspect ratio on a taller screen. And then we do rect.height equals scale height. This is going to set the viewport height to the scale height which we calculated here, and this value will be less than 1 because of this if statement. And this is going to scale down the height of the viewports to fit our desired 16 by 9 ratio. Then we do rect.x equals 0, we're going to set the x position of the viewport to 0. This aligns the viewport to the left edge of the screen, ensuring it is horizontally centered. And then we're going to do rect y equals 1f minus scale height divided by 2. So we're going to calculate the y position to center the viewport vertically on the screen. And the formula 1 minus scale height divided by 2 is used to equally distribute the unused space resulting from the scale down height at the top and bottom of the viewport creating letterboxing or two black bars that are even in size. So essentially we're reducing the size of our image and then we're applying black bars and that resized image will be perfectly centered so the black bars are the same size. Oh and then we do camera rect equals rect so we put give all this information to our camera's rect transform. Now we're going to do else and this condition is met when the player screen is wider in aspect ratio than the target 16 by 9 aspect ratio or whatever your target aspect is. So firstly we do float scale width equals 1 divided by scale height. So we're going to calculate the scale width which 
is the inverse of the scale height. Since the screen is wider, scale width will be less than 1, representing the scale down width necessary to maintain the aspect ratio. And then we just do rect rect equals camera dot rect, the same thing as before, where we create a rect structure to store the size and the position of our rect viewport while we set that up. Then we do rect.width equals scale width, which is going to set the viewport width to scale width. So we're going to be scaling it down to fit the 16 by 9 aspect ratio on a wider screen. And then we can do rect.height equals 1f. This is going to set the height of the viewport to 1, corresponding to the full height of the screen. Then we're going to do rect.x equals 1f minus scale width divided by 2. So we're going to calculate the x position to center the viewport horizontally. And the formula we use distributes the unused space resulting from the scale down width equally to the left and right side of the viewport creating pillar boxing. So we have again even black bars on either side. Then we're going to do rect.y equals zero and camera.rect equals rect. So we assign all of that to our camera. And that's almost it for this tutorial. So I'm going to call it in the start so it does it on start. Just a heads up, if the game window changes size or maybe you toggle full screen, you might want to call this because you're going to need to readjust the black bars. This also means if you just toggle through different sizes in the Unity editor, it's not going to update unless you re-hit play or recall the adjust function. So let's save our work and go back into the editor. So we're going to go to main camera. Uh, all of this doesn't actually matter for this because we're just interacting with the viewport. Nothing else. But make sure your background color is black unless you don't want black bars and want a different color. And then what you do is you can just drag and drop the aspect ratio fitter onto the script. No, onto the camera. By the way, if you have multiple cameras in your game and want all of them to abide by this script, you need to attach this script to all your cameras or any cameras you want to follow the script. So let's say if I work and hit play and there's no black bars because, well, this game is 16 by 9. But what if we did this one? Oh my god, black bars. Now let's try a few more resolutions. How about we create a new resolution? And we're going to do 800 by 1280. And we won't give it a label, but we will make it a fixed resolution. Oh my god, it looks like a really weird phone. And now let's hit play. As you can see, black bars have been applied. Thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.